Hey guys, so I saw this video yesterday and you know me, when I see something even slightly cursed, I need to draw it as fast as possible. I even received this comment from one of you guys, so you know me too damn well. So Evan and Caitlin are a husband and wife who have this DIY channel where they make and build all kind of weird and interesting stuff together, such as their latest creation, a dog-sized robot Furby that walks, runs, jumps and is overall really wholesome and cute. Why can I never have cool stuff like this? All I got is f***ing George. I'll talk about him later. And yeah, the dog Furby's name is Coco, just like my Coco here. So I guess Coco is just a very cursed name and they could be best friends. So yeah, I had to draw Coco the Furby. So in the video, they built the Furby on top of a robot dog. To me, these robot dogs are already extremely cursed, aka I really need one. <laughs> they 3D printed Furby's face onto it or YouTuber Austin Bradley did that. He has a video about it on his channel. They covered it in fur and took it on a walk and obviously things are not weird at all. And of course it also talks. My power has no <laughs> at one point in the video they put it on evil mode and film it outside in the dark and the red light makes the thing look even more terrifying. So that's what I decided to recreate here. I wish I had more time to make a couple different drawings because I really like this guy. I love anything Furby, but unfortunately I've been so busy I didn't have enough time. I especially like the part where he's hanging out with the smaller Furby. So cute. They just need spit, you know, Marcia's cursed Furby and the gang would be complete. So I tried to make the weird ass robot anatomy as accurate as possible and wanted to play with the red lighting and shading. And in the video you can't really see the background because it's so dark, but I assume it's filmed in their backyard or somewhere nearby. And I wanted to add some trees because it would have felt empty without them, but nothing too complicated, just really simple things and I really wanted it to look like my point of view or the viewer's point of view as if he has been chasing me and I'm hiding in some bushes or something and he has spotted me and he's really fast I can't even imagine the amount of shit in my pants if this thing were running full speed towards me He's gonna get you. <laughs> Except if he trips over his own feet, like he did in the video at least two or three times. <gasps> oh no! But at least he's trying. I kind of wanted to add my Coco into this. Uh, they would be the perfect killer duo. But yeah, I hope you like my version of Coco. And Evan and Caitlin, don't hate me, please. <laughs> And speaking of Coco, my Coco keychains are sadly sold out. If you've been sad and spent sleepless nights because you missed out on the Garth keychain last time, stop. I got another batch of them and they are now available in my Etsy shop. Last time they sold out almost immediately, so if you're interested, go check them out. There is also a new cursed keychain available now. Every Finnish person's childhood trauma. The Beware of Thin Ice keychain. So now you can too relieve your childhood trauma every day. And if you have no idea what the hell am I talking about. I'll link the video at the end screen and you can watch it if you like. Uh, I hope you like this. Be sure to subscribe for more cursed content and go watch Evan and Caitlin's video. It's really funny, it's really cursed. Check out my last video where I draw old toys. Finnish people make magnificent things, I tell you. Thanks for watching guys, stay adorable as always and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!